This courtroom has been restored to represent its original interiors even today, with the jury box and original witness box still present. When inside this courtroom, you'll feel that you're back in the 20th century, witnessing a trial of yesteryears. To celebrate 150 years of the Bar Association, we go back to 1908, to the trial of this great freedom fighter. The relevance of this trial is integral to today's justice system. Freedom of speech and expression was a subject matter then, today, and will probably continue to be the sole topic of discussion for years to come. Let us now go to courtroom number 46. Mr. Dalal, my lord. The important question of law that arises in the present case, my lord, relates to the freedom of speech. To be able to express oneself and one's thoughts and to criticize without fear, as long as I do not incite violence or communal hatred. In the present case, my lord, my client has written something on his Facebook page, which, mind you, my lord, is his personal page. He has voiced his opinion, like millions of others on the, in the state, on the same subject. In fact, the newspapers are reporting the very same news. Despite that, my lord, my client has been targeted for criticizing government's policy. Sorry to interrupt, my learned friend. The government intends to bring about this ban on the consumption of alcohol in the state of Maharashtra, which can be opposed, yes but not by passing statements against the sitting minister. This man has openly abused the minister on social media. His words are clearly causing anti-national sentiments. It's his own Facebook page, he can write what he wants. Excuse me, please don't interrupt. But you're not talking sense. How can one random person's Facebook page be causing anti-national sentiments? So it doesn't make sense. Mr. Dalal. I'm sorry, my lord, I profusely apologize on my learned junior's behalf, both to the court and my learned friend, Mr. Daswani. Adjourned to Thursday, 14 January. Obliged, my lord. Dalal, control your juniors. Let it be, Daswani, he's new. Hey, bitta. Come here. Come here, come here. You see, this is not your uh, law college. Case is going on, not your moot court. Relax. Let the seniors do their work. Your senior is the second best counsel in the high court. He knows what he's doing well, most of the time. Second, so who's the best? But obviously, yours truly. Chalo, come on now. Dalal, are you coming for lunch? Uh, you carry on, Daswani, I'll join you. So how can you have lunch with opposing counsel? First of all, counsel are meant to represent, not get personal. We're all friends at the bar. You must learn how to segregate the personal from the professional. And the second reason? The second reason is his wife packs the best food in his lunchbox. Uh, sir, I'm sorry for speaking out of turn, sir. It's okay, young blood and all that. I was like you when I was young, yes. But in those days, we didn't have Facebook. We had newspapers, that was our forum. In fact, you are standing in the very same court where over a hundred years ago, a spirited man like you spoke out against the system, just like our client. I read outside, sir. Tilak. Yes. But sir, today with newspapers being bought out by advertisers and political parties, mm. there's just no scope for honest criticism in there. Hence, we turn to social media and now they want to control that as well. But there's no clear-cut law on online services. So till then, we'll fight in court. Uh, sir, did the court look the same a hundred years ago? How would I know? I know I look old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> no, sir, I mean, is this where Tilak had his trial in this court? Yes. Even today, the walls of the court echo with Tilak's defiance against the British system and British government. How poetic that the Bombay High Court proudly displays Tilak's last words at his own trial. The same court that convicted him now stands tall on his principles. And those two convictions have gone into oblivion. But sir, how is it okay for Tilak to criticize the system, but not me or our client? You have to learn from Tilak. 
As much as he spoke out against the system, he respected judges. And they respected him. When he entered into that witness box there, here the judge stood up for him. That was Tilak. An extremist with empathy. That boxer, Tilak stood in that very same box? Exact same box. Why don't you stand there? You'll hear Tilak speaking to you. Really? <laughs> you have a lot to learn. I'll get you some lunch from Daswani's lunchbox. Maybe you'll feel better. Yes, sir. Swaraj, Swaraj is my birthright birth and, birth and I shall have it. <laughs> In spite of In the, spite verdict, of the, of the jury, verdict of the jury, I maintain, I maintain that, I am, that I am innocent. After all, After all, our killers, our killers are, our brothers. are our brothers. What are you doing? Sir, so, so every time I touch this box, I can actually hear Tilak's voice. <laughs> Forget the voice. Just stand inside the witness box. You'll actually see the great Tilak trial. Forget about him talking. Really? Oh, here, here. Why don't you eat something? I brought you some lunch. Here, eat it. Maybe you'll have more respect for Daswani. Because, because I represent, I represent more, more by my suffering than by my remaining by my free. Oh, 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 what is happening? Stop! Oh, 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 oh. What just happened? Where am I? What's going on? Hey, excuse me. Daswani, sir, what is happening? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Where am I? That? All rise! So, so, what is happening, sir? Is that Lord Mania Tilak? What was in that lunch, sir? <clears throat> sit down, sit down. <sighs> Appearing for the Crown. Uh, Advocate General Mr. Branson, my lord. Appearing for the defense. I will be representing myself, your lordship. Very good, then. Mr. Branson. My lord. What are the charges here? Mr. Tilak here has been charged with sedition, my lord, in respect of certain articles written in the Kesare newspapers in May and June 1908. The first relates to the wanton murders of two innocent European women with a bomb thrown by Bengali terrorists. I would be imploring the court, my lord, to take into consideration Four other articles written by Tilak, which are not the subject matter of the charges here, but which I would be exhibiting on behalf of the Crown to prove the accused's intention. What kind of a jury is this? There are mostly Europeans on this bench. So Mr. Tilak. Your Lordship, this no doubt will inspire many with hatred against the people belonging to the party of the rebels. It is not possible to cause the British rule to disappear from this country by such monstrous deeds. But rulers who exercise unrestricted powers must always remember that there is also a patience to the limit to the patience of humanity. A journalist could criticize the government as strongly as he liked, but he had no right to attribute improper, dishonest motives to it. No one can justify the breach of law. Mere protestations of disapproval of crimes or violence may be a veil of the purpose of emphasizing the real object of these articles. Members of the jury, please make note of those words in those articles. Such usefulness of one sort 
Murders are useful sometimes in order to divide the attention of the authorities to the grievances. The authorities lost their own heads in, over the agitation in the partition of Bengal. In letting loose Muslim gundas upon Bengali Hindus caused damage to their property and to the honor of their women. Is it or is it not a charge against the government of inciting Mohammedans of the most improper act of inciting Mohammedans against Bengalis to, to loot their property and to defile their women? Precisely, my lord. Can anyone, after reading these, have respect for your lordship's government, my lord? Well, Mr. Tilak, would you like to begin your defense or proceed straight to jail? With your permission. Hmm. Your lordship, the alleged inferences, insinuations, and innuendos have been drawn not from the original words used by me in my article, but from translations. Exactly. Your jury members are not Marathi knowing people. Not at all. They know nothing about the Kesari. And yet they are being asked to consider the effects on the minds of the readers of the paper. <laughs> my learned friend Mr. Tilak forgets that it's the jury that decides his fate. The jury may not approve of my views, but the question here is of good or bad intention. As the bomb outrage was the question of the day, it was my duty as a journalist to press upon the attention of the government the causes of the bomb. Reporting an existing feeling is not the same as inflaming feelings. Your point being? My article was written to give advice at the time of unrest. The object of the second article was to reform. This was not sedition. Gentlemen of the jury, have we reached a guilty verdict? In the matter of Tilak versus Crown 1908, on the charges of sedition, we find Mr. Tilak guilty. Shocking, what a surprise. Well done. Must have been very hard for you to come to that conclusion. Gentlemen of the jury, thank you for your time. You're dismissed. As for you, Mr. Tilak, you are hereby sentenced to six years of transportation and a fine of rupees 1,000. And might I add, your articles are seething with sedition. They preach violence and approve of murder. You talk about the bomb as though it is something good that has come to India. Such sort of journalism is a curse to this country. All that I wish to say is that in spite of the verdict of the jury, I maintain that I am innocent. There are higher powers that rule the destinies of men and nations. And I think it is the will of providence that the cause I represent may prosper more by my suffering than by my remaining free. What are you doing? Get out of that witness box before somebody thinks you're the accused. Come on. There is no such thing as spirits. There is no such thing as spirits. The real spirit is to make the country, your family work together instead of working for your own. The step beyond is to serve humanity. And the next step is to serve God. 